millions of years ago, everything changed. A new light appeared in the tranquil, eternal night sky. A meteor. The meteor kept growing in magnitude and brightness as it hurtled towards the Earth, gathering speed and momentum faster and faster, and then <laughs> impact. Unreachable space crashes into Earth at a single point of contact. The tremors ripple through the entire planet. Everything is shaken up. Absolute chaos. The dinosaurs are wiped out, and conditions are now ripe for mammals to flourish. The meteor ushers in the age of man. But man would soon fall into sin. 2,000 years ago, everything changed. A new star appeared in the night sky. And a light from all eternity now shone in the darkness. A little peasant girl said yes. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. No one could reach God. No one could touch the heavens. But now Jesus Christ comes down from heaven and takes on our humanity. Impact. God is united to man. A baby is born in a little cave in Palestine, and the universe can never be the same. The earth trembles. Satan and his army quakes in terror. Emmanuel, the Prince of Peace, God with us, has arrived. Here begins the death of sin. Here begins the age of grace. Now often, we can focus on, on giving something to Jesus, right? on changing for Jesus, giving him something special for Christmas. And that's great. But do we ponder how much Jesus has already changed for us? Do we let ourselves be impacted by the full force of the Incarnation. Now the meteor only brought about a climactic change, but the Incarnation brings radically new life. Jesus' birth literally begins a new phase of human history. Nothing is untouched by this reality because God himself walked this earth breathed this air, and contemplated these stars. This season, let us ponder what it means that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Let us marvel at how Jesus has been changing our lives even before we were born. Let us feel the full force of God touching man, and let us embrace the impact. <laughs>